A trip to the Mayan Riviera for just $350, a flight to China for $45. That might be a red flag. It's the old adage, just because you see it on the internet doesn't mean it's true, and that applies for vacations too. We all know planning vacations can be really stressful, also hard on the wallet, but cheaper is not always better. Yeah, travel scams are on the rise. Jason Colthorpe talked with the experts who say you don't have to be a victim if you know what to look for. So you're tired of wearing these, right? And you're looking to book a trip online and you check out one of those fancy travel websites and you see the sandy beaches and the palm trees and it looks great, it's wonderful, and then it's all fake. But you won't even know it until you get to your destination. We've all been tempted by those vacation deals. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They said I want a free trip and this and that, but then at the end of the day, I had to send them $400 to get the free trip. I just want a free room at the Hilton for all my time staying there. I have never once stayed in a Hilton hotel. I even got things in the mail where they give you a free visa card or something saying that if you sign up or whatever, you can get this and get that. Don't be surprised. Many of us have taken advantage of those offers. New reports show travel industry fraud is costing big bucks. It's costing the airlines more than $1 billion annually and travel agencies almost $900 million in fraudulent bookings. But don't think it's not costing you money as well. Fraudsters scammed Americans out of $4 billion last year alone. Fraud is becoming really, really big, um, unfortunately, in travel, in particular because of the internet. Travel experts say trusting the cheapest option online rather than going through an agency or a reputable website is how you could get scammed. Everybody wants to save money. I mean, that you don't want to spend your money, but you have to protect your money. And you just can't go randomly online because just because that they're online does not mean that they're reputable. There's so many places online, they, it could be one person in their basement. How do these scammers get to you? Well, first, social media. It's easy for them to buy an ad and use a picture off of Google. Yeah, that's really scary because I book a lot of things myself online. Second, robocalls. The Better Business Bureau received complaints about calls coming from a resort's reward center offering great vacation deals. One problem, if you look them up, there's no website. Scammers either don't have a website or have a really bad looking one. Of course, I want to save money, but if I don't recognize that site, I don't recognize it, and I see it's 100, you know, hundreds less, maybe I read up on it and maybe talk to anybody, hey, have any of you ever used this? So how can you protect yourself? Whenever you're going online, make sure that there's a, a telephone number or a way of actually reaching a human being to talk to. If there's not a picture of the hotel, or, or there's just grounds pictures or, or drawings of like, what the hotel's supposed to look like, okay, that might be a red flag. If there's not an actual person to reach out to or the company doesn't have an address to their offices, you probably shouldn't trust them. And be wary of those last minute today only offers. Swindlers need to act quickly to close the deal, luring you in with discounted prices and urgent requests. Resist the book now button. If it's that easy, you see something to it. <laughs> So take your time planning a trip with reputable sources. It'll keep your money and information safe if you rush to book the cheapest option. And it's gonna cost you money and ruin your vacation as well as many months or years even trying to work on trying to get your identity back. We have more ways for you to stay safe and you know where to find those. Just click on the Help Me Hank tab at clickondetroit.com. Jason Colthorpe, Local 4.